Hello everyone, Dr. Smith, physical therapist and law student here. Today I'm gonna to break down the number one problem in the physical therapy profession. Before I get into that, please like this video, please subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications to make sure that you do not miss out on any new content, and as always, please comment below with any questions, comments, complaints, or concerns, and I will try to respond to you as soon as I possibly can. I'm going to preface this that before you watch this video, you should go watch Greg Todd's latest video on the current debt in the profession and if physical therapy is worth it currently and how his answer has changed from six years ago. I'm going to link that video below. If you are watching on Instagram, if you open it on your laptop, you can click the link. It will also go directly to the video as well, all these links. If you really need the link, just go ahead and send me a DM. But the easiest way is to just go to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube and click on the links there. Now back to this video. I'm hoping you watched the prior video I just recommended. If you didn't, please watch it after this. So all of this is going to make sense. I also want to voice my opinion that I do think at this point, the move to the DPT probably wasn't the smartest decision for therapy. I know in some states you can get more direct access, but realistically, if you had more therapists graduating sooner and practicing, you may have actually got that access faster than working towards the doctorate. I do not think they looked at practical consequences or the financial consequences that Greg mentioned in his video. Now, I know many of you are thinking I'm gonna bash the APTA and bash schools and say that's the number one problem. That is not the number one problem. That is a contributing factor. So if those are contributing factors, then what is the number one problem? The number one problem is actually mindset. Granted, I never really thought I would be saying any of this or explaining it, but from what I've seen recently in Facebook groups, people reaching out to me, the main problem is the mindset. Many of you go get a DPT and want to be an employee. Even when you want to do a side hustle, you want to be an employee. That is the main problem. That's what's limiting you. That's what's not allowing you to get out of debt. You need to create side hustles that you can make money in your sleep so you're not trading time for money. And why am I saying this? Because I actually have courses on how to make your course at CEUs in every single state. I have a 10 CEU course that's been approved for years now. And I teach other people how to do it, but people still reach out to me and say, hey, how can I go work for a CEU company and teach CEUs with my product? It's like, bro or woman or lady listen you have your own product if you just do what i'm telling you you can make your own course ceus and then you can make money like i have here as you can see yes i made my course ceus and that's how i got to fifty thousand dollars in passive income if i never made my course ceus i probably wouldn't have got there as fast and it would have taken me much longer working as a ceu instructor for someone else unfortunately schools breed this employee mindset in a variety of ways whether it's the cpi whether it's outdated business practices or just telling you to take a low paying job at a new grad rate for a few years. Now, personally, I will teach you how to make money as a home health therapist. And I've done it over and over again with students getting 100 to 200,000 plus. But the end goal for many of them, if not all of them, is to use that money to then quit and do their own thing. It's what I did. It's what I continue to do. It's what my students continue to do and what many other people who have been successful in healthcare in this space will tell you to do. So it's okay to start out with a job as long as it pays well. If you want my tips on getting paid well in outpatient or home health, there's videos on this channel and of course my home health course. But realize what I'm teaching you is not for myself to make money because say I make $200 for a course sale, because usually you get a 40% off code. What I'm teaching you is actually giving you information to go make 100 to 200,000 plus dollars. And many people have reached out to me recently and said, hey, I wish this was taught in schools. And I'm grateful for that feedback because honestly, that's why I made my course because it should have been, because I didn't really have guidance as a new grad. I made mistakes and I'm telling you what to do so you don't have to make those mistakes. But at the same time, this employee mindset needs to stop. If you look at Greg's debt video and the numbers, or if you're in debt now and you're doing this, realistically, you are most likely never going to get out of it as a staff employee. That's why you need to create your own systems. When I was on Aaron LeBauer's podcast, I specifically stated that if a system does not work for you or does not support you, you need to go and create your own system. Unfortunately, we cannot all start out creating our own systems. We need capital first, and that's why I tell you to take high paying jobs or do certain things you don't wanna do for a little bit so you can then branch out. But if you never branch out, you are never going to leave the place where you're currently in. And if you constantly want to work for somebody else, 
you're never going to achieve what you actually want to achieve. To recap, there are many problems in therapy. There's lots of contributing factors from Vision 2020 to the DPT to the way schools teach you how to practice and do certain things, but ultimately it comes down to mindset. Once you stop being an employee, create a product or a system, and then work for yourself, you're gonna be so much further ahead than every single person around you. And that's why I wanted to make this video today. I'm still doing the $500 giveaway for people that buy my course. If you sign up for PT BizCon via my link below, you also double your entries into that $500 entry. The PD BizCon link is going up. I just did want to mention that. All right. I hope this video made sense. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, or concerns, or any topics that you want me to specifically cover with my own input, or even go live and do a Q&A with you guys on YouTube, please comment below. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.